I'm like, this guy is 22. And he's like a multi-millionaire. Years later, like I've, I've slept over at his place for a few days. It's like, I know he's not lying. I know he's not a scam man. He's, just, he's honestly, he, he just works extremely yeah. hard. He's dedicated. We're about to go meet Iman Gutsy. This is one of the most successful 23 year olds in the world right now. This was first year, I think in my entire life where I wish I had a father. Just like me 10 years ago who started his businesses. I promise you, if you put in the work, this is possible. You know what? Let me cut straight to the chase. You need to get rich and you need to get rich quick. You are young. I'm 17 years old. You're ambitious. I worked my face off. And you want to make it big early in your life. The way I met Iman was because he wanted to do a YouTube video with me on my channel. At the end of the video, I actually bought him a gift. I got him this like crazy, like one of 20 camera. I know he's super into film cameras. And he ended up coming out to Miami. And of course we had to link up. Then we're sitting at the table. He's got an Hermes bag. He's like, let's check this out. And he opens up this box and it's a brand new Rolex for me. And on the back, it's got engraved, you get what you give. There will be a day that your son looks at you and goes, Dad, I don't know if I can do this. And my question to you is, what are you going to tell him? If you've never been through the fire, if you've never beat the unbeatable, if you've never even pushed yourself, what? You're just going to stand there like a fucking hypocrite? Just remember, it's not only about you. It's about what you're going to pass down to your next generation. Now, I made my first million dollars at 18 years old. And no matter what you see on TikTok, I want you to know that that is not normal. So I'm speaking from experience here, but I do want to make it clear that no matter what anyone says, I will hold my hand up and say that a very large portion of why I'm in the position I am today is because of luck or the grace of God, in my opinion, and timing. In order to be a king, you must first be a pawn. But this is what I'm saying. The younger generation, they look at things and they're like, no, I want to jump straight to the finish line. You have to earn your f***ing stripes. So just remember, to be a king, you must first learn to be a pawn. Because I made so much money at such a young age, all the things that people want, I've experienced. I experienced it half a decade ago. I promise you, if you put in the work, this is possible. If you don't believe me, go to my YouTube channel. I was uploading since 2015 as a scared little kid, no father, trying to navigate this difficult world. Listen, it took time, it took hard work, it took the grace of God, but eventually I got there. So, not only do I wish, but I know that the same will happen for you too. Today I'm just making a very big purchase. And yeah, obviously I was gonna surprise her with the house first. Keep your circle small, but your influence large. And here's what I mean by that. There is nothing wrong with many people knowing you or with you having many acquaintances, but you should have very few friends. And here's the thing, most people in this bullshit fake life don't know the difference between an acquaintance and a friend because most people don't understand what true loyalty is. They are around people that they don't like. They're around people for clout or money and this and that. And that's why, by the way, it's so important to get yourself strong first. So this way people later down the line can't throw money or women or clout at you and you're impressed by it. You need to make yourself strong. You need to make yourself a fortress. But back to the point, keep your circle tight, but your influence large. Many people can and should know of you. And I'm not talking about having a massive social media following or this or that. I just mean even in the industry you're in, never unnecessarily burn bridges. Always be very polite and courteous to people, but always understand that you can probably only have a select handful of true friends, true brothers in arms, true people that would love you and do anything for you. That's a very, very small circle. Invest early and invest as much as you can. Here is the thing. If you make money at a young age, try to get away from you as soon as possible. I'm talking about property. I'm talking about maybe even buying some physical gold. I'm talking about things where the money can get away from you and it's not easy to sell. Here's the issue sometimes, and I'm not totally opposed to it. Here's sometimes the issue with crypto or stocks. You can buy and sell very easily. You can't buy and sell real estate very easily. So buying things that aren't actually very liquid at a young age, I think later down the line, once you're established, that can actually be a detriment. It actually makes things a little bit more difficult. But when you're a young age, you are your worst enemy. You're the, probably the biggest reason you're going to f*** this up. So what you want to do is once you make money, push it away as quick as possible. Because here's the other thing. And once again, I'm talking from experience. When you are young and you make a lot of money, you know what people think? People don't think, oh, well done. People think you got lucky. So there's no point being 19 years old, driving all these supercars and blah, blah, all this stuff, because you're not impressing anyone. People just think you're lucky. That's it. So you're better off taking the money, investing it. And when you're 23, you're 25, you get to an age where people can kind of believe this has happened a little bit more. Maybe, you know, you're 22, but you dress the part and people think you're a little older. And that's when you can enjoy and you can live it up and you can do these things because when you get out of your supercar, people will actually think that you bought that.
There is nothing, and I mean from the bottom of my heart, nothing that compares to taking care of the people that took care of you in your darkest moments. It is the most beautiful full circle moment, and I don't give a shit how difficult things are for you right now. I don't care how tough it gets, how much you doubt yourself. There will come a day when you repay all the people who stood by you in your most difficult times. So you owe it to them to keep pushing. Make it your North Star. Think about it all day. Envision it before you go to bed. Because I can tell you from firsthand experience, it is truly one of the greatest joys in life. You're gonna join me and my friends, we're gonna have dinner. Uh, well, all my friends are very excited to meet you. Yeah.